thought we had a pretty good grasp on plant sex. And then these little critters came along. Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Minute Earth. We've known for, well, for a long time that animals often move pollen from flower to flower, fertilizing plants. All sorts of critters pollinate all sorts of plants. But as far as scientists knew, this process only happened on land, or at least above the water. But in 2016, researchers discovered that animal pollination also happens underwater. Itty bitty crustaceans and worms visit certain species of seagrasses and seaweed. They pick up the sticky mucousy pollen, or spermatia, basically a seaweed's version of pollen, and ferry them, sometimes over considerable distances, to the seagrasses and seaweed's female reproductive organs. The details are really cool, but they aren't actually what I find most interesting about this discovery. What blows my mind is that despite scientists knowing for a long time that animal pollination is an important and really common process above the water, I mean a full 80% of plants are pollinated by animals, we're just now realizing that it's also happening underwater. There are a bunch of different reasons for this gap in our knowledge. First, the physics of animal pollination underwater seem pretty unlikely. Seawater is almost 800 times denser than air, and it's often in motion. It didn't seem like animals small enough to pollinate the tiny flowers that exist underwater would be able to move easily between them. Also, the timeline didn't seem to fit. Many species of aquatic plants and seaweeds existed long before animal pollination was thought to have evolved. So scientists assumed that the only way pollen moved around underwater was via the motion of the ocean itself. As a result, nobody was really looking underwater for evidence of animal pollination. And it isn't exactly an easy process to simply stumble across, seeing as it happens at night on a tiny scale. Many of these pollinators are no bigger than the tip of a pencil. It took a few very observant, very open-minded researchers to figure out that aquatic animals can, and do, act as pollinators. And in some ways, this discovery isn't actually that big a deal. Most of the pollination of these seagrasses and seaweeds, and most underwater pollination in general, probably does happen via the motion of water. So at least ecologically, underwater animal pollination is probably a relatively minor phenomenon. But the fact that it exists at all is a big deal, because it upended what was basically scientific dogma, and forced scientists to take another look at some of their underlying assumptions. These tiny pollen-toting critters are a reminder that science is done by humans, and what seems logical to humans isn't necessarily how the world actually works. Nature can still surprise us. If you've got a nature lover in your life, you will definitely want to head over to our Minute Earth store. Right now, we're making waves with our fall merch sale. We're not squinting around about these holiday discounts. We've got all sorts of great science gifts, like this holographic bioluminescent sea creatures sticker set, perfect for a notebook, a laptop, or a water bottle. And we've also got a book that answers all your most pressing science questions, a Serengeti pin set, science posters, nerdy shirts, and more. Click the link in the description to dive into a shop that is perfect for fueling curiosity.